Next on Good Taste. Oh, man. One bite will have you hooked. These are fantastic. This former filling station now fills up people instead of cars. It's pretty amazing. Then we're uncovering the best little steakhouse in Texas. That is a big hunk of love there. Better bring your appetite. Plus, a heartwarming story of brotherly love and hitting it big by baking bread. I think she will be proud. I bet she's smiling right now. Good taste starts right now. Hi there everyone, welcome to Good Taste, I'm Tangie Patton. Well I hope you're hungry because we're about to fill up our tanks with lots of natural goodness. So how do you transform a neighborhood gas station into a world-class dining room? It doesn't take a lot of magic, it just takes a little ritual. Welcome to Ritual, a spectacular space where diners aren't exactly under a spell but the phenomenal food and amazing ambiance might make you wonder. I think Ritual is awesome. It's actually my first time here. It's really great. I love the food. There are pleasant surprises around every corner. For starters, these brisket cheese fries drizzled with Cholula ranch sauce. Oh, man. These are fantastic. And these amazing boudin corn dogs. Whoa. I just love eating uh, great comfort food, so we try to offer that. I got the Ritual Burger with no veggies. I love all the food here at Ritual. By day or by night, this space is simply stunning. It's very industrial and old school. Ritual is the definition of cool. I've always been a fan of design in the purest sense. There's lots of eye candy. I love all the natural light. It's pretty amazing. And yet, this elegant dining room once serviced cars instead of people. This was all parking lot and these were gas pumps. <laughs> everything here is made from scratch. We butcher everything in house. We try to source everything locally. In some ways, Ritual is like a phoenix rising from the ashes of its old self a spot locals called the L, which included an homage to ZZ Top. This wasn't always a ritual. It was a failed restaurant before. And you learned from That's those right. failures. That's right. We learned a tremendous amount. And when the L closed its doors forever, a ritual was born. After many sleepless nights, it came to me. I swear, Tanji, I heard this ritual. That sounds a little weird, but that's how it happened. It really symbolized everything that I felt the name of this venue should be. So what's up with the flying pigs? I read somewhere that somebody remarked that if we were able to pull this off, it would be when pigs could fly. It motivated me and I stuck with that. Now Butch, the ritual mascot, dishes out amazing showstoppers like Boudin stuffed shrimp the Texas picnic board oozing with delicious delights. And of course, the signature dish, this smoked short rib with a demi-glaze. So I'm putting like a garlic, fresh garlic, thyme. I have a rosemary right here too. I can tell by looking at it, it's gonna be good. And I got the sauce right here. Oh man. Okay, we're gonna taste this, right? There you go, cheers. Delicious. <laughs> it is delicious. Yeah, delicious. It melts in your mouth, right? Yeah. And while you can't get an oil change at this former filling station, you can get quite a palate cleansing. Cocktails are really excellent. Everything's always fresh. Like, just like we have a scratch kitchen, we have a scratch bar. Here is the old fashioned, which we're known for. Uh, a lot of people say it's the best in the city. Oh, that's good. It's an amazing. And this is awfully pretty. It's called Victory Girls. Ooh, that's kind of fun. It is. For dessert, dive in to the scrumptious bread pudding. Or try the cast iron chocolate chip cookie on for size. So good. When COVID-19 hit H-Town, Ritual changed overnight into a takeout only business in order to survive the new dining landscape. 
very, very tough, very difficult. I think this has made all of us more appreciative of what you do. We just want to be around other people celebrating and being part of that interaction and that interactivity. We need that. And now that the dining room is back open again. You're going to have an amazing time with us. Yeah, you are. At Ritual, uniqueness is everywhere, like the beer menu, which looks more like a train schedule. I think the beer board is a piece of art. Objects are repurposed at every turn. The actual wood flooring originates through old railway ties. There's even a daily ritual behind ritual. I spend all my money by putting quarters into a wishing well, and I just wish for the best. And Ken has his own kind of zen for getting through a challenge. Everyone fails, and so I think it's important to identify that, embrace it, and learn from that for, for the future. Truly, ritual is a dining experience like no other. I think the name encompasses everything that we wanted to really represent here, making it a ritual for everyone. We literally have people that spend four or five or sometimes six hours here. I love it because it's a very like cool atmosphere. <laughs> it's a good time, yeah. I really love what we've done here and, and I love when people have an amazing time here. I love what you've done here too. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank Many you so more years. much. Thank you. Looking for a delicious breakfast idea, something that not only looks amazing, look at that, but tastes fantastic. Hi everybody, I'm here with Claire Souls at John Souls Foods and we are talking a delicious breakfast. Yes, we are. It's very hearty, very filling, but really good. Yeah, and so much of the work is done right here, right? Absolutely. All already done. All right, what do we do? All right, so the first step is we're gonna go ahead and fry our egg. I'm gonna go ahead and let that cook. So we're gonna start with a fresh biscuit, and then we're gonna slather it in pepper jelly. Oh, yum. I know, it's so good. This is going to be one hearty breakfast. Yeah, it's very good for brunch with your family on the weekends. Perfect, so now that we have our pepper jelly, we are gonna go ahead and put our chicken nuggets on. Which come already done, all you have to do is yep. Put them in the oven and heat them up. Pop, or you can microwave them. Pop them in the oven, put them in the air fryer. Now that we have our chicken on, we are gonna go ahead and add the fried egg. And add some bacon. It's ginormous. <laughs> and now that we have the bacon, we're gonna go ahead and put the top on and drizzle it in some honey. Oh, look at that. And there we go. It is divine take a look at that there's so many layers of flavor going on there it looks amazing we've got the recipe online claire thank you thank you coming up these brothers will warm your heart with their freshly baked bread the food is delicious but first where's the best little steakhouse in texas killer sticks keep your seat we'll be right back cisco at the heart of food and service Welcome back. No one else does steak quite like Texans. From massive bone-in ribeyes to tender petite fillets, when it comes to steak, there's a little bit of Texas pride in every bite. From the VIP service. Non-stop great service. Five star. To the out of this world steaks. Killer steaks. Everything at J Prime Steakhouse in San Antonio is top shelf. We're very particular, and I think uh, it's represented on the plate. Proudly butchered in-house, the steaks at J Prime are the highest quality prime beef. Expertly grilled over mesquite charcoal, to perfection every time. They really go out of their way to make you a happy customer. J Prime comes from the same group that created the wildly successful Chamagaucha Brazilian Steakhouse. Everything you get here is delicious. Stunning steaks and sensational service. You'll get all that and more at J Prime. The food is what uh, brings them in, the service is what brings them back. Next, we're heading to Houston, to one of my favorite steakhouses in the Bayou City. No steak lover's trip to Houston is complete without a trip to Ben Berg's award-winning B&B Butchers. You can't go wrong with the colossal tomahawk steaks or these juicy bone-in ribeyes. 
Man, I'm not used to turning a steak that big. Yeah, look at that. That salt block you see there is heated to 450 degrees. It comes to your table topped with a tender Kobe beef filet that cooks right before your eyes. B&B whips up amazing appetizers too. The carpet bagger oysters packed with filet mignon, pork belly, and blue cheese are a favorite. I love the carpet baggers, the appetizer to die for. B&B also has a fully stocked butcher shop. To bring a lot of your family's history and, and lineage, as your great-grandfather a butcher? My great-grandfather was a butcher, my grandfather. Fabulous food and family tradition. B&B Butchers brings it. Thank you for coming. Cheers. Cheers. Now, we're heading north to Dallas to a restaurant that's been crowned one of the best steakhouses in the country. Locals love everything about Chamberlain's Steak and Chop House in Dallas. Look at the 20 ounce prime rib, it's massive. Massive. Chamberlain's prime rib is slow roasted and smoked, then bathed in a savory house made au jus. I like the peppered filet. Delight your taste buds with this tender aged filet mignon or this hearty long bone ribeye, a Chamberlain's favorite. That's oh right. My God. That is a big hunk of love there. This bodacious steak is aged for 40 days, seasoned simply with sea salt and fresh ground pepper. The steak's then seared in a hot cast iron skillet. Now we've got this big <laughs> hunk of love meat here, <laughs> but we're gonna spoon this porcini mushroom oh, that is so butter good. over it. Mm. That's delicious, that butter and the shallots and the mushrooms. If you love a good steak, you're gonna love Chamberlain's. Ah, the sight of a juicy cheeseburger never gets old. And I'm at the place known for awesome burgers. We're at Buff Burgers with Buff himself. Hi there. But we're making burgers, and you're going to share some of your tips because yours are very popular here in Houston. What's the biggest mistake we make when cooking a burger? Well, I think the biggest mistake is squeezing hamburgers with your spatula. It just gets all the juice out. It doesn't cook it any faster. Yet simply season salt, pepper. Don't season the meat before and mix it in. Just season the outside of the patty only. Just a 50-50 combination of salt and pepper. We use seven ounce patty. One of the big mistakes we will make, not enough salt. Really? Everyone's scared of salt. Everyone's yeah. scared of salt and fat. And clearly, I'm not scared of fat. <laughs> we aren't either. I think another mistake people make is they, they try and move it too quickly. Down there. Next up, we make Buff Burger's famous Texan burger. Right, we always put the pickles on the bottom, and these are uh, made in house as well. And then lots of crispy fried onions. Oh, look at that! And then you just drizzle that barbecue sauce over the top, and there you go. Whoa, all We're right. We're done. You can have that anywhere, and you'll just feel like you're in Texas. Oh, that is awesome. When you're homesick. <laughs> And finally, we are doing the avocado burger, which is my absolute favorite. This one features a delicious Fresno chili mayonnaise, slow roasted oven tomatoes, and of course, fresh avocado. We're in Texas. We don't want to skimp on the avocado because no. that would be offensive. Absolutely. So we have two nice big chunks of avocado that go on top and a fire roasted poblano pepper. Oh, yeah. Goes yum. on top of there as well. And then we ready to stick it. Oh, that looks like amazing. That. I think it looks fantastic. Bring an appetite here, right? Mm. It doesn't get any better than this. We've got all your burger tips online at goodtaste.tv. Buff, thank you. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Coming up, some amazing wines just in time for Turkey Day in my wine finds. But first, there's a bit of brotherly love mm. in every bite. Oh, that is so good. Wait till you see what else they're baking next. We'd love to share good taste. Head to our website at goodtaste.tv where you'll find delicious recipes from top chefs, my latest wine finds, and restaurant recommendations. Plus, you can see all of our episodes right here. Don't forget to sign up for our newsletter while you're there. Good Taste with Tangi is brought to you in part by HEB. The sweet smell of freshly baked bread 
instantly ups your attitude. Leavened from a living source. Molded by human touch. And baked to golden brown perfection. A simple handcrafted masterpiece that tastes delicious, especially when it's made with love. For us, La Panaderia means love. I have fun. La Panaderia has been a labor of love for the Caseras brothers, who peddled a long path. I do remember yelling in the street of Mexico, Rosca, Rosca de Cinco de Diez. From selling their mother's bread from a bicycle on the streets of Mexico City. For us, La Panaderia was and is right now our life. To owning a bustling bakery cafe in the heart of downtown San Antonio. A bright and airy space, throbbing with positive energy and feel-good vibes. I love it. It's fabulous. Mm. Oh, that is so good. Go crazy and splurge for dessert with these whimsical creations worthy of every calorie, including this eye-popping blueberry mousse dusted with flakes of silver. That's fun. I got the grilled chicken salad and it's delicious. I love it. Luscious lunches lure in locals too with homemade soups, sandwiches, and garden fresh salads. Everything at La Panaderia is good because everything is made in house by dedicated brothers who spent decades paying their bread baking dues. What does it feel like when you, you think of your humble beginnings selling bread on a bicycle for your mom and you see now Lines out the door, incredibly successful. I'm getting chills talking about oh it. God. It's got to be very humbling. You always have to be humble as a baker because you never know when things are going to get wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Humility learned as they watched their widowed mother start from nothing and go on to creating a booming commercial baking business. She was very passionate about quality, always bringing the best, always give the best to the customers. That quality was key as the brothers reimagined the business after their mother's death to become one of the top bread suppliers to Walmart and Starbucks in Mexico. That's obviously my mom's influence. It is in, in every part of what we do. Then it was their mother's courage that inspired the brothers when they decided to give it all up, start over from scratch, and pursue their own dream in America. It has been a, a, our dream for a long time, and we are just very happy just to be living that dream. This time, they're doing it their way, with fresh, organic, healthy ingredients. So this is my favorite part. Ready? Okay, ready to try. Ching, ching. Ching, ching. <laughs> <laughs> I have mustard mouth. That's good. A crunchy cheese creation that would make any mother proud. This is my first time here, I love it. The food is delicious. What do you think she would say if she were alive? She's part of one yeah, of us. Yeah, she is part yes. of all of us. I, I don't know what she would say. Probably she would complain about something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think she would be proud. I bet she's smiling right now. Time for my wine finds. And this Thanksgiving, I am grateful for family and the freedoms this country offers. I've got some fantastic wines to celebrate with. At first, a Beaujolais. Now this is unlike any Beaujolais I've had before. I love this one. Say hello to the Domaine de Hospice de Belleville Bruy. These Gamay grapes are grown on a volcano-shaped mountain in France called Mount Bruy. A chapel was built at the top so that the vineyards below would be under the protection of the Virgin Mary. This is a great Thanksgiving wine. Its bright cherry flavors are balanced. It's got a nice acidity, which makes it pair with all kinds of foods. It's a crowd pleaser for red and white wine fans. The Hospice de Belleville Bruy is only $15.98 a bottle. Up next, if you're looking for an elegant Pinot Noir for that holiday table, I've got it right here. The Le Duc Noir, produced in the Sonoma Coast vineyards, you'll get enticing smoky notes on the nose. This juicy wine screams being cherries, a hint of cardamom, and then it finishes with some other spice notes too. Pinot lovers, you'll fall hard for this one. I did. It's priced at $24.98 a bottle. Okay, I saved the white wine for last because it's the ultimate Thanksgiving Day wine varietal, Viognier. This is the Airfield Viognier. It's a perfect turkey pairing wine. 
The nose on this one screams fresh pears and floral perfumery notes. You'll taste a bit of honeysuckle, peaches, and then citrus on the finish. Don't over chill this wine. Take it out of the refrigerator about 15 minutes before you serve it. It's delicious. The Airfield Viognier is only $14.98 a bottle. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. As always, I found all my wines right here at HEB. When visiting Houston, the Good Taste team loves to stay at the beautiful Royal Sinesta, right in the heart of Uptown, conveniently located near the Galleria. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. We hope you're able to enjoy your favorite restaurants. We have a huge list of restaurants on our website with all of the dine-in, dine-out options, curbside, you name it, even patios. As always, we hope you'll follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Good Taste TV. And as always, to get all of our delicious recipes that we show you each and every week, sign up for our newsletter. They'll come right to your inbox. Till next time, cheers to Good Taste. So there you go. That's ah, where you got to go on your bun. That's a nice toasty And you can bun. smell it, and you don't get soggy bottoms. And it <laughs> no one wants that. No one wants a soggy bottom. <laughs> and then it um, springs back into life, as you see. Oh, yeah.